presented by Steve Myers. Ah, we're starting the recording. Welcome to the webinar, guys. Stock index trading rooms, secret weapon strategies using the SITR. Um, welcome to the webinar. Thanks for coming in and taking your time with us today. I'm super excited about this webinar for a couple of reasons. Number one, we haven't done one for a good while for the stock index room. And for another reason as well, um, I don't get to attend the stock index trading room, but I wish I did. Um, but I have my own room that I attend to. So I'm always excited to see the new developments yeah, that happen. And that's what these webinars are about. It's about sharing things that we're learning and discovering. And uh, with the trading rooms, we've been doing this uh, going back, coming up on nine years now. Yeah, it's nine years and like a month or so yeah, that we started doing uh, the trading room. Yeah. And so uh, the stock index trading room is a little younger than that. Uh, but in this time, we've gone from knowing some to knowing a lot. Yeah. And so these webinars are about sharing uh, those things with you. And so I'm super excited about that. I'm super excited that Steve's presenting it. Uh, I've known Steve for many, many years now. Uh, he first became a member in my trading room. And um, after a short time in there, I started realizing this uh, was no ordinary person. Yeah. Number one, uh, Steve uh, shares things in a very clear and concise uh, way, in a very practical way. Uh, that I think you can appreciate. And then also, uh, he's a very copious researcher. Yeah, he doesn't stop. And that's part of uh, what it takes to be successful doing this. And so eventually, I asked him if he'd like to run the stock index trading room, been doing it ever since. So um, uh, without any further delay, uh, Steve, um, welcome to your webinar. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to your webinar, and uh, I think uh, you'll find what I had shared about Steve um, uh, to be the case, uh, that he presents things in a really uh, good and clear way. So uh, take it away, Steve. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. Uh, somebody give me a thumbs up on the sound. I don't want to be talking to myself, even though Zig Ziglar said, hey, thanks. That's Zig Ziglar said. If I talk to myself, I'll talk to smart smart person right ha 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 uh welcome this is fun for me i haven't done this in a while as rob said um i got a little lazy things are working so well um but anyway we're glad you're here uh the first thing i want to say is what an honor and i mean that this this y'all need to research rob mitchell uh do your due diligence rob's an amazing trader coder system developer understand the markets in ways that other master traders, other World Cup trading champions won't get to. And one, we get to run our ideas by him and he's sort of the filter for us. And two, he's looking over our shoulder, but for me to represent it, I never thought I would be doing anything like this. So Rob, thanks for all the help and work that you've given me and our members. And, um, and, and it's a cool trip. Um, second, these are fun because, you know, we, we see friends that we haven't seen in a while and, uh, older than dirt is here and, uh, we're <laughs> glad to see him and, and a lot of friends, we've made a lot of friends. And so if this is your first time to one of these, uh, I'll, um, sort of give you a lay of the land. I've got a few slides I'm going to read to you. We are recording this. So uh, you need to buckle up. I'm going to go pretty fast. One, I respect your time. Two, I, I, you know, I can't teach you how to do that. It wouldn't do any good anyway if you don't, if you're not in a room and aren't trading our charts. The tools we use are, um, are very special. And uh, like Rob said, we have worked. He talked about my copious work and things like that. It was real simple, Rob. I had to make this work. I didn't have an out. I didn't have anything else. So what you saw was, um, well, it was just desperation. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and bu buckle up. 
ask questions. Rob's going to hang in, and um, I'm going to read some read some uh, slides to you, show you what we do, some of the new stuff that we're doing in the room. Uh, do a little recap. Uh, it won't take long, and um, but we respect your time, and we're grateful that you're here. Um, let's see. Uh, we don't need that. We do need this. We'll make it legal. If you've never read this, stop the recording and do so. Okay. The first order of business are the markets random or predictable? Random or order? Chaos? Or is there a semblance of something that we can work with? If they are random, chaotic, uh, doesn't matter what we do, right? It doesn't matter. But research has proven for decades that futures markets have a tendency to repeat over time. This repetitive cyclical nature that price action follows that all winning traders depend on to succeed. In the uh, Stock Index Trading Room, we use smart patterns. These are geometric patterns that we teach in trade where price action and order flow for our members' benefit. These patterns repeat. And when they're implied consistently, they have a proven track record of success. And it's this proven track record that we hinge our success on. And it's the proven track record that gives any winning trader their advantage over time. So these patterns are market entry signals that we use are put through major amounts of scrutiny, days and weeks and months, and hundreds and hundreds of entries. And only the, the very best, most reliable patterns are taught in our room because our members deserve the very best of our effort. If you didn't know this, uh, it's time you learn this. Order flow leads price. The nirvana of day trading is to find ourselves in front of a nice trending move or a breakout. And since price follows order flow most all the time, the members uh, in our room use order flow reads to position themselves in front of future price movement, a majority of the time. This single concept has created more successful traders in our room than anything else I can share with you. Trap Trader Oscillator, or TTO, as it's lovingly called, Combined with smart break points lead out, you don't need to know what that is. I'm going to show you. If you're in the room, uh, you will be inundated with this. And if you're not, it won't matter. But it gives a clear visual picture of where areas of order flow forecasting future price moves. See, our members trade the future in front of price moves, while most everybody else is chasing the market. And that is the difference maker for our members. So what does that look like? We'll look over here and I'm going to draw your attention to these red and green horizontal lines. Now, I'm not going to teach this, but I'm showing you where Trap Trader Oscillator, which is this indicator, is breaking through order flow. And what does the market do? Well, it goes up. Okay, that's pretty cool. When it comes down and bounces off our midpoint line, and before, as this bar is printing, Trap Trader Oscillator is already above the midpoint line. These are live. And so as this bar is printing, Trap Trader Oscillator is telling us, hey, I'm going to be above this line. So we can't break order flow support. We hit our midpoint line and take off. I lovingly say in a room, guess which way this is going? And even our new members get that right. And here we go again. We can't break this green order flow support. We go up again. Over here, we break down. So if you had been trailing this and wanted to do that, would have been a time to hop out right up in here. Uh, we have traders that will try to trade this. We have signals that we've put together for this that have a super high uh, successful track record. And this is not it, but I'm showing you, okay, we can't get below, we can't get below, we can't get below, we go up, 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 up. We get below and the market tries to correct. 
Okay. So this is our favorite just smart breakpoint pattern is we're over here and you see we have some red up here and some green down here and we're just congestion. And lo and behold, all of a sudden, we get a triple lead out. You see, we break through all of these green smart breakpoints with one thrust on trap trader oscillator. So we take out this entire order flow section to the downside. Okay. Well, is that significant? Yeah. <clears throat> Yes, it is. And that's the basis of what we're doing. Okay. If someone, if you were, if I were to subtitle this presentation, it would be using order flow to trap, pick an adjective. Excuse me a second. Got a small cough and I apologize. Um, wrong footed, wrong sided traders. We're going to use order flow to trap unsuspecting traders. Uh, we have the next uh, combination that we've put together. Our members are calling these secret weapons. This is from the developer of the Delta pressure bars. TTOA pressure bars provide a visual indication of the buying and selling pressure within that bar. We can read order flow within a bar. A pressure bar that reaches the upper extreme indicates there's twice as many aggressive buyers. If it reaches the limit of the scale, there are three times as many buyers. The opposite being true for sellers at 20 and zero. These extreme pressure readings often tell us where there will be trapped traders to provide momentum if we get a reversal bar, okay? Now, so what does that look like on our charts? Rob has spent years and thousands of hours to code this stuff where we can look at it at a glance and see what's going on. So here we look, we have a rocket. This just big green bar sticking up says there's a ton of buying here. This red one says there's more than two to one selling. Well, who's going to win? Well, we see our smart price, our smart breakpoint lead out here. So that's going to win. Okay, this rocket, and I have a new signal. Rob's not even seen it. I have a new signal um, <laughs> that we've been trading for a few days. Uh, he's busy and I'm busy. So anyway, so we see this rocket. And trap trader oscillator is going up against it. So what's going on here is this. In this bar, there are breakout traders getting in late, a lot of those that are on the wrong side of order flow. Order flow is not going down. These traders are trapped and are going to get squeezed. And you see, they keep trying against order flow, against order flow. And of course, you know, we're working it that way because order flows up and we wouldn't want to trade short against order flow. It just doesn't make sense. So to come up with these secret weapon signals, we make them highly filtered for the lack of a better word. Uh, there have to be lots of things going on internally at the same time for us to take action, okay? So here we have the, the uh, utopia of Delta bars. We have trap trader oscillator that is way too out of bounds, stretched too far. That doesn't mean it's going down, okay? But order flow screams down and we take out all kinds of lead outs here. We take out all kinds of stuff in here and you can see what happens when we do that? This was a couple of days ago. 
maybe three days ago. I don't know. I forget. But anyway, so that's the rocket. And people go, why would you call it a rocket? Well, when I looked at this, when Rob introduced this, and I looked at that, I said, man, that's a rocket ship taking off. And then, you know, okay, we had them on both sides. Okay. Well, we'll use other factors that we teach in a room. But for the most part, for this discussion, all you need to understand is there are craters, you know, this is an excess of selling. So what? So what? Nothing. That's no good. What if it's against order flow? Thank you very much. Here's a lot of selling here with order flow. Well, guess what that does? Boom. There you go. So um, that should be enough right there to get you on the right side of the market most of the time, as it does our members. So uh, secret weapon combination. Markets don't move without new orders. Rob was a, one of the first system developers to give us real trading advantage in order flow, advanced order flow reads. He's been doing it for 30 years, Rob, 25 years or whatever, and still working as hard now as he ever has. Since price follows order flow in most all market conditions, stands to reason that a trader that uses advanced order flow, you would find winning entries in the market and you would prevail over other traders. How would you feel if all of a sudden you could start to get in front of future price movement? <laughs> a trillion years. See, smart money likes to trap unsuspecting, late, wrong-footed, call whatever you want, Smart money likes to trap unsuspecting computer traders and squeeze them out of the market. Now, finding areas where this new money is on the wrong side of order flow, that's all we're doing here. It's it, nothing else. And trade along with this smart money as they squeeze those people out enables our members to enjoy a huge advantage that everybody else is just dreaming of. So it made sense to me that if we could find entries where order flow was trapping late money would be pretty good we did we can and we are <laughs> so um here here are uh four we're not going to go through all of these I'll, I'll go through these real quickly i've got a couple of recaps and we're we're going to be through um because that's all we're doing all we're doing is we're using uh delta bar trader trap rockets against order flow that's it it's uh it's a cool thing. Real simple way to trade. Easy to see. Uh we have an ABCD order flow read with trader trap rockets on the right side of the structure. If you come to the room, you'll be sick of this on your third day. We talk about that and follow that and trade that religiously. Testing and moving away from market edges, potential market edges, I should say. We call that a pivot retag with momentum. Okay, smart momentum uh, that we color our background on our charts with momentum. So anytime we're trading a red background, it's with momentum down in a green background with momentum up. And then we have trader trap rockets on the right side of the structure. I'll have a chart and show you what that looks like. This is our new signal. This is real simple. Sometimes when we find these, I think, golly, Steve, how did it take you so long to find this simple signal? And it's 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 uh, for all the people that have been with us before and have the stuff on your chart. Um, you got questions, reach out. You know, that you you want trust me when I tell you, you want this signal. I showed this to the members yesterday. Why yesterday? Because I'll see things as I'm studying one signal, I'll notice two or three things and make notes. And then I'll build a chart for a month, or I will tell you that, and and start to look at things. And then I'll test it. And then we'll back test it. And then I'll look, can I make it better? And then I'll trade it with my money. And if it holds a scrutiny, I'll share it with our members. See, we are not the service that goes, hey, look at this. We think this might work for you. Ha, ha, ha. Give it a shot. Y'all are way way more important to us and we're not going to do that to you so this is any rocket with smart breakpoint lead out i'll show you that that's real simple we're not going to go over this uh this is uh an incredible signal it's simple easy to find and i use this signal to teach non-traders 
how to become successful right away. Okay. So I'm going to share with you my favorite chart. I have more members tell me this chart and we'll do this live. I'll be teaching and we'll, we'll cut to this live. They'll say this, excuse me, one second. I am so sorry. This chart has done more to change their trading career and make help make these traders winning traders than anything we've done, anything I've ever done. And so people are going, well, you can't trade that. There's no price bars. And I understand that. I do. I understand that. What we're going to look at here is we're going to look at an ABCD down pattern on Trap Trader Oscillator. It's the only thing we're going to look at. Now, Rob's got 10 TTO patterns that win. We've got two or three in a room that we use that aren't in that list. So you can be inundated with this if you just, you know, don't do that to yourself. Please don't do that to yourself. But what we're showing here is that we have A, B, C, D. We have a rocket and a lead out. Okay. So remember this spot. Remember this pattern. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Don't, 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 don't. Yep. A, B, C, D down with a lead out here. Yeah, we're, we're religiously looking at these in the room and saying, hey, gang, we got an A, B, C, D down. While this bar is printing, TTO is going through the lead out. So we know if it prints down, we're going to have our entry long before it prints, long before it prints. So there's the second one, and we'll look right in here. And then we have this A, B, C, D over here just screaming down, and we'll look at that. And um, if we put the price bars on, here's the first one, A, B, C, D down with the rocket. Here's the second one, A, B, C, D down with the lead out. The one I said this printed long before the bar printed. A lot of these test really well for five points. Each one of these continuation bars is four ticks plus wicks. There's magic in these wicks. Um, you know, we'll teach you if you come to the room, but just incredible. And then here's our weak Batman, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D down. Those were the three order flow reads that I had marked on the blind chart. And he said, yeah, it works pretty good. Works pretty good. Uh, the... Hang on a second. Oh, yep. Let's go back to this. ABCD order flow read. Okay, that was that one. Pivot retag on color. Okay, I'm going to show you what that looks like right now. Okay, so uh here's how we here's how we trade this. Smart momentum, we're going to trade this trade with the color of smart momentum. Okay, but we're not just going to trade background color because it can get a little dicey. But the market runs up and turns our background green. Okay, all right, we're good. It comes back and tests this turn. This is a strong Batman with a lead out. Okay, we've traded this for years. Strong Batman with a lead out. So it goes up, comes back down, tests this, and we have a rocket against order flow. These traders are going to get squeezed out. 94 or 5% of the time. It's not 100%, but it's just as close as I can get you. So we go green, we come down and retag, we get a rocket, and we go. So now we're going up, 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 up. We go red, and we come down, and we retest this a little bit. Not really. We retest this. Do we have a rocket? No. We retest this. Do we have a rocket? Yeah. Lead out? Yeah. Boom. Okay. We go green. We come down and we test in here. You could have gotten long here and set through all of this stuff. Or you could wait on your rocket on the right side. There's the entry. Now, this one didn't go very far. That wasn't real good. Four or five points, something. 
So anyway, that's the pivot retag on color with the rocket. We've been trading this for what, year and a half team? Year and a half team. So um, yeah, pretty nice. I'm going to show you something in a minute that I just laugh out loud every time I see it. Now let's go to the, excuse me again, hang on. Our new signal I introduced yesterday, any trader trap rocket with smart breakpoints lead out, okay? Now I'm almost through here, yeah. That would be this chart. Okay, so this one's real simple. Let me get over, mm, that one may be a little easier to see. Now I squeeze this chart together so I could get all three of these on to, to just teach you what we're doing. Uh, these are uh, easier to see on the room chart, but we're not gonna let you, you you know, this will take five minutes. If you've ever read indicators, it's take about five minutes to get. So all we're doing is this, we have a rocket here. Yes, we do. Do we break through this? There's a little red, every one of these large dots, Rob has put a, uh, a note on it for us, this horizontal line, that if we break through that, you know, let's go that way. Now we would rather do it on a reversal bar from extreme to get a large win versus in the middle of this and get jump, 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 jump. But a lot of people tell me they'd spend a lot of time trading this. I don't think they're real happy with it. Um, so we can get to some edges, trade from the edges, and get larger moves. Anyway, uh, so we have a rocket with a lead out. That's all this is. We have a rocket with a lead out. That's all it is. See, here we have a rocket, but we don't lead out. Okay, so we want, we, we're not, so here we have, yeah, you know, you could, that's a little bit, a little bit pivot retag. So if you're trading all of these, everything that fires, that's okay. You'll be happy in the long run and you'll get caught up in some congestion. If you're trading from the edges, see, we have this. See, this dot is so high, you can't see that this green bar is all the way up there. Okay, but we break through one, two, three, four, <laughs> 20 red lead outs and a lot of greens in this one thrust. Okay, so we have everything we need. Says, okay, just a signal. It's just a signal. Let's talk for a second about signals. We trade, we, this is what we trade in the room. Um, I, can, I can show you, let's look at this one. Specifically. this signal right here, this is the recap for it. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 days. 12 days in here, okay? So a long enough study to know this is pretty representative. Do I guarantee that, you know, every signal that occurred in those 12 days is on? Uh, no, I don't. I trade this. And I share it with my friends in the room. Uh, my granddaughter's future relies on this being accurate. So, um, you know, whatever. Uh, th this is close. Now, what are we representing? That this is exactly what's going to happen? No. Is this an advantage in trading in the market? Yes, it is. Okay. So what this, this Chris Trent, who did the Delta bars, this uh, goes alongside with uh, the Superdom in Ninja Trader. And we're not saying trade one, trade one for one, one for two, one for five. That's, that has, this has nothing to do with that. That's what this represents. And I'm going to get to this in a minute. See, some of y'all like to scalp and some of you like to hold. Some of you like to swing trade, pivot retag. Some of you like to trade falling away price. We've got a half a dozen signals that do that. This is designed to show you that whatever your belief is, wherever your comfort level is, you can fit this into what you want to do. So you don't have to change. 
as you would in most services in most rooms, they're going to tell you one thing. They're going to say, you don't know how to trade and you have to do this. And a stock index trading room would never say that. You either know how to trade or we believe you will know how to trade. So you want to trade for one, one to trade for two, trade for, you want us to trade and test hundreds or thousands of trades and get you on the right. That's what we do. That's what we do all the time. I've worked weeks on this. Okay. I've worked weeks on this. So this again, don't, don't one, two, five, don't do that. Okay. That's not what it's about. This is about if you want to, if you want to trade a scalp out early, that's your comfort level, do it. You want to hold a bit longer, you want to do that, do it. Okay. Now I'm going to show you something. We play with this. And what this says is that if you traded one for one, one for two, one five, 15 tick stop, every time it printed one loser, I'd make 162 bucks, 276 percent more likely to profit than not every time it fired win loser right it doesn't matter right this is averaging all of the signals but here's something that uh we're sideways crazy about in the room okay uh 88 and 83 they're so close and there's a huge difference in the money so what we're going to do is this we're going to take that up and i've already done this i would normally take it to 12 and then 16 but i'm going to take it and double Okay, now watch 83, two grand in 162. Uh, win rate comes down, 73, almost four grand. We almost double our profit on that. So we lose almost nothing. So if I was going to say, okay, I'm going to hold it for a little longer than one, I wouldn't go two or even three. Uh, this is saying, let's go four. Well, if that works better, let's look at 63, 3,600. Lose two percentage points in win rate. Add $1,000 to the. So if I wanted to trade this for more than a scalp, now, the longer you hold it from 24, the less money you make over time. It doesn't, whatever. But now, drum roll. What if we go from 15 ticks to 11 ticks? What if we shortened the stop? Which normally robs profit, right? Normally robs profit. No, not at all. In fact, added a little bit to it. We're 350% likely to profit versus lose three to one 246 again you know you can trade one of these you can trade however you want to do it we are not saying do this we're not saying do this we're just showing if you want to do that if you want to do that if you want to do that we feel you we can help you you know that's that don't don't have to change everything you think you need to change unless you think your job is to guess where ever bottom and top tick and all these bars and all of that uh, we can't help you with that, okay? So don't come to the room if you feel like we're going to guess top tick and bottom tick of every move. Uh, I saw Steven here today. Uh, his, uh, your top ticker and bottom ticker, uh, top picker and bottom tick picker still broken. He said one day in the room, he said, yeah, mine's broken. And uh, mine is too. So anyway, so here we have a trade that, you know, pretty comfortable with the stop. You want to make more money, you would use a bigger stop, obviously. Larger stops to a degree make more money. But, you know, now, are we saying this is exactly the deal? No. No, we're not saying that. And I've got another caveat on signals, a disclaimer. But we're saying, if I used this trade to guide, if I had a, a rocket with a lead out and he used that to guide me, you know, how would I do in the middle of chop, you would break out, you know, pretty good, pretty good. So would that improve my trading results? And when I started trading this, the answer was absolutely. It improved my trading results. Now, let's talk about signals and I'm almost out of here. Five more minutes and we're done. Um, 
we trade these weak Batman with a lead out rocket owner outside needle bar, whatever we've got, you know, several qualifiers. That's a, that's just a screaming trade. That's a bread and butter trade. Uh, let's see if I can find this right quick. I don't, yeah, I'll try. This is fun. Okay. Before I forget this was before Rob, you remember this? This was before we opened the room. This is before we opened the room. Rob, you remember this? I know Rob's busy. Thank you. We didn't have Bloodhound. But I knew this Batman was a winner because I'd traded it with tools that weren't near this good and struggled but, but was profitable with this type of situation. And I sent him this, I <laughs> know, 2016. So here's my point. I'm going to show you something in a minute. It's going to blow everybody away. One of my members brought this up today in the room. So we have our entry and then we have up to IBP 2.0 and, you know, all of those things that we teach in the room. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to bring, I want to point this out. Y'all see this green bar below the blue line that I'm circling here? That tests incredibly well for five points. Um, I want to show you something. Oh, shoot. My bad. Hang on. It's worth it. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So we have this green bar below the blue line. And I teach in the room why this works. People go, oh, no, you can't do it. You have to buy it above it and sell it below it. No, you don't. <laughs> we won't get into that. Um, but we have Trap Trader Oscillator undervalued. Is that a good place to buy it? Uh, yep. Is that a good place to buy it? Uh, yep. Uh, is that a good place to buy it? Uh, yep. Okay. In trend, there's nothing you have that would even come close to this. So anyway, green bar below blue line that uh, trap trader obviously is undervalued. We call that a combo. It was a first signal in the room that we put two things together. Okay, combo, five points. Today at 3.30, is that a green bar below a blue line? Anybody? Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Tracy. Oh, you're, you're very welcome. Is that green bar below a blue line? Yes or no? Yes or no? Anybody? Green bars below the blue line. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Is trap trader oscillator below the purple line is an undervalued. You mean like it was eight years ago? So one of our members said, uh, I wonder how many tens of thousands of points you would have made down through the years if you'd have traded that signal. Because it worked before we opened the room and it worked the last trade for five points today. Isn't that cool? Is that cool to anybody but me? I just, I, I look at that and I just go, you've got to be kidding me. Got to be kidding me. So trading is not linear. Trading is exponential. It's geometric. People look at a signal and see one trade. Winning traders look at a signal and see a thousand of those. So that's the difference. Okay, personal stuff. This is the most important chart. This is the most important chart. Uh, Tracy, I know your name and I know you're an incredible trader. I would love to have 15 minutes to explain why that is. Um, this is the most important screen I'm going to share with you, okay? 
elected PGA in 87, top 5% of my class, business schools, I'm not going to go through that. These were mandatory. This was about a four-year program. There were three over 300, uh, 300 students in each one, and I was the only one, went to Pinehurst one year and Nashville the next year. I was the only one out of our two-year school that was in the top 5% for both years. Now, <laughs> I am old. does that mean I'm good, smart, gifted? Not at all. Not at all. What does it mean? It means I'll work my tail off for something that's important. And that ought to give you chills if your trading is important to you. I was a mountain chapter teacher of the year, three times master instructor from the Golf Institute. That's Homer Kelly still. Yeah, I do all of this just to say, I'm just an average Joe Smo, but I'll outwork you. Rob, Rob, Rob will tell you, I'll outwork you uh, because it's important to me. It's important to me. Uh, I, I was a licensed sports psychologist. That certification has lapsed, but I know how to help people make winning decisions for uncertain future circumstances, which golf and trading are exactly alike. Okay, one more. This is important. I'm going to do this quick. I'm running out of time. Why the stuck in its trading room? See, everybody in here, regardless of your experience, you've made fortunes, you've lost fortunes, you're trading a SIM account. It doesn't matter. We all have the concepts that we believe in that guide our trading. Okay? It's called the primacy effect. It's why we can't change and we teach this in a room, but it can be very difficult and time consuming to change this. So you go to a room or you go to a webinar or something like this, and they say, we have one deal and you have to trade it. And it's a swing trade and you scalp or you scale up and it scales down or you scale down and it scales up. It has to have a big stop and has huge targets wins 50% of the time, but its wins are three times larger than real. Well, you know, not everybody can trade that. Not everybody wants to trade that. So you want to scalp, you want to swing, you want to get in the middle, you want to scale up, scale down, smaller stops, larger targets. You know, we can help you take what we have and adjust it to where your primacy effect is supported. And that's why the people that come in with an open mind and go, hey, I believe in this. Okay, let's look at this for you. And they, they start down the road to confidence and success. Swing trade, scalping, scaling down, scaling up, blah, 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 blah. This is why we help. I mean, you know, we're going to help you find your fit. Okay, we're going to help you find your fit. One side doesn't fit all. Unless, of course, you don't think you'll ever be able to take control of your future. So that would be wrapping it up. Excuse me, I need to cough again. Excuse me. So the subtitle for this, Secret Weapons, I've shown three or four market entry signals. And, and the results that we show have no discretion involved. What's it's just, you know, if, if you took them, that's what would have happened. You can, you can add any level of discretion you would like that you're comfortable with. Um, what I will tell you is that the more familiar you get with market structure support and resistance, the more you will understand why our signals are happening where they're happening. See, smart money is putting in a trap with order flow lead out at a certain level that all of the small accounts are thinking we're going to continue. And of course, they get hammered and we have our traps and rockets that tell us the order flow is screaming up. You can look at your chart and go, that's because of blank. That's because of this level or that fib retracement or extension or whatever you do. But what you'll do if you come to the room is you'll start looking at these patterns and you'll go, wow, that happened right here. And it will happen right here over and over and over and over. Okay. So, um, Rob, that's it.
If you can hear me, I'm done. I can. Hold on a second, because I got my robot vacuum making all kinds of records. Oh, okay. No problem. Uh, I will. Did y'all hear the joke about? I'm, I'm teasing. I'm kidding. What is it? No, I was going to say you were gone. I said, do y'all hear the joke about? I was going to do a little dog and pony show while you were gone. I'm done. I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, this was great. Yeah. Thanks for doing this. Guys, thanks oh. for coming in. Um, the um, So we've had a ton of questions. I've been answering questions the whole uh, the whole time. Um, so I've got questions about um, stocks and all this kind of stuff. So let me answer some of these questions, just kind of broad strokes. Can you use these concepts for stocks? Yeah, you can. You can. Um, but if you don't like, because I don't like waiting. Yeah. When I take a trade, I want it to go now. <laughs> I'm greedy, man. Yeah. So stock's going to be a little bit more slow-mo. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> you too, Tracy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's okay. Yeah. So um, I... There are people trading all different kinds of uh, markets with uh, this technology, and it is a technology, okay? So um, one uh, example, I got a guy who trades 10-year uh, notes, okay? I got a guy who's a specialist in soybeans. Soybeans, that's all he does, yeah? Um, but, you know, those markets don't, move like the way the ES moved today in the last hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah. So um, if if that's your thing. So like Steve showed you a bunch of different techniques today. And uh, uh, one uh, person attending, sorry, I don't remember uh, who, and I, I can't go look because there's too many things in here. But um, so I've long been teaching, you have to trade what you see. Now I'm going to tell you why that's important. Okay, so I don't know somebody point this thing out on the chart or point this thing out on the chart, right? You have to uh, differentiate that. You can't take three, four things all at the same time. You have to do just that one thing, okay? So what you do is you take that one thing. I say, trade what you see. Oh, Rob, you know, I get the email. Oh, Rob, what, uh, what strategy should I trade? Well, trade the one you see. Now, let me tell you what happens when you do that. Because you might say, oh, well, you know, trade what you see. But, and, and that's fine. But here's what happens when you do that. When you trade what you see and you, you differentiate it from the other things, number one, you become an expert in that, but something else happens that's magic that nobody talks about. You'll see other patterns. Mm -hmm. You'll see other patterns. But if you didn't differentiate it, you'll never see them because your brain's just chunking it all together in one. But if you want to be a good trader, get good at one thing. And I mean, good. You should have. I got goosebumps. Yeah. Yeah. Good at one thing. Force yourself to do that and your learning will accelerate dramatically. So Steve showed you several things here today. Rob, can I jump in a second? Yeah, absolutely. Everything we use in a room except the Batman and the above and below. I learned or other members learned from running something down that didn't work. Right. I'd yeah. go, I'm, well, I'm looking at that, oh, God, but I noticed another tendency and I started focusing on it. And lo and behold, we have another secret now, weapon. Secret. Now that actually brings up a whole nother animal is um, some methods will work better in certain environments and others in other environments. So by differentiating, you learn that too. You're like, oh, when the market's trending hard, um, maybe I can't be as stringent about my signals. So I need to like uh, reevaluate them in a little bit different way. All these things are nuances of becoming a master trader, but you know, we're not covering that in the, you know, a, a webinar. We cover that in the trading room. Yeah, but we so, do in the room every yeah, day. <laughs> yeah. We get down to the nitty gritty with down, down to nuances. You ask questions, you know, other people who've been doing this, for nine years, we've been doing these trading rooms. Steve just showed you a chart from trading room in 2016. Yeah. 
How long ago was that? Yeah, a long time ago, right? So um, then other traders have been doing this forever, chime in. Well, that's that alone for the trading room is an invaluable resource. One trader in the room, you know, points out something on something and it makes all the difference for you, you know. So you can't really quantify that or say anything about a value to it, but you have a community of people. A lot of people have been in the stock index trading room for years and years and years. So anyways, uh, so yeah, these are really good points and, and things that are, uh, that are good to know. And these things get revealed to you over time. But, you know, back to that one thing that I just said, uh, when you narrow it down to that one thing, you can tell everything that's not that. Yeah. And that opens the door for higher learning. So, all right. Uh, again, guys, uh, Steve, thanks for presenting. Uh, guys, thanks for coming in and taking your afternoon with us. The uh, attendance at this was pretty impressive. I did a webinar that a thousand people registered for like a week ago or something, and we had as many people as that. That's pretty cool. Rob? Yeah. I've put our um, email. Yeah. We, do, we do need to get out of here. Send us an email. We'll get to those yeah. later or probably tomorrow. More information, stockindextraining.com. And then I'm going to offer, I'm going to offer, um, hey, Darren, how are things in Southern or sunny California? Um, special members, a discount. Thank you, Rob. Yeah. That's a discount code that we'll honor for people that have been here if you go ahead and and decide you want to come in and spend time with us um that makes it if you use that coupon uh it makes it a little less than ten dollars a day makes it thank you makes it a little less than ten dollars a day to spend some time with us so anyway uh it's all rob stuff you know, I appreciate all the, hey, that's great. It's all rough stuff, man. That's just less than a tick a day. Yep. So I think your trading future, everybody in here is worth that. So shoot me an email if we can help. If I don't know the answer, which I often don't, I ask Rob. <laughs> hey, Wayne. And, uh, and then, uh, but we want you to win. Right. That's the reason Rob does. I kept asking, Rob, why do you do this, man? You make so much money trading and have made so much. And then I realized he just loves to give back. And I want to grow up and be like him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll leave it at that <laughs> before I lose that privilege. Yeah. So. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll see you all on the next one.